Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. Welcome to Winner Home Live on SABC3. My name is Danilo Aquiso and it's your favorite day of the week, not because tomorrow's the weekend, but because you get to get intrigued <laughs> by some of the best interior design. How's it going? That's right, man. I'm rocking, I'm rocking. We're here. I'm Tavi Soma Kubela. And this is the show that could change your life forever because at the end of the series, as our grand prize winner, you could walk away with a fully decorated penthouse apartment at Butterfly Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West. It's developed by Baldwin Properties to the value of more than 3 million rand. Oh, and if you thought it couldn't get better than that, it's, uh, I don't think it can. Come. It's absolutely right. And with this being the fifth season of the show, you won't be the first South African to have their lives changed forever by this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. In season one of Winner Home, Josh Gloak walked away with a beautifully designed home at Stain City. He described winning the professionally interior designed home at age 23 as an incredible life-changing experience. The season two winner of an apartment at Ilala Views Estate in Umslanga Ridge was Kajal Suraj, a teacher from rural KZN. Palesa! Season three of Winner Home saw Palesa Moisi winning the apartment of her dreams at Baldavi Estate in the Western Cape. She chose the apartment designed by Minenthen Tuli, one of the season's talented design contestants whose kitchen and ethnic design style captured Palesa's heart. Congratulations, <laughs> In the last season of Winner Home, it was Zintle Kom who became the owner of a brand new home at the Eye of Africa Gulf and Residential Estate in Johannesburg. She also had three units to choose from, but decided on the one decorated by Lesejo Masekela and pawn designer of Team VC. This year, you could be the lucky winner of the grand prize competition and win your choice of one of the three fully decorated apartments at the Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, valued at over three million rand. If you win, you get to choose which of the three beautifully furnished apartments as decorated by our competing design duos you want to call home. Which would you choose if you won? Apartment 1 by Team RNK, whose glamorous aesthetic secured them a win for both spare rooms. Apartment 2, with its Afrolicious design by Team Contrast Control, who got the judges' vote for best bathrooms. Or Apartment 3 by the Perma Peeps, who share a passion for permaculture and who won for best master bedroom. It's a tough choice as each of these three apartments is situated on the top floor with lift access and all offer fantastic views of the Strand Golf Course and the Hottentots Holland Mountain. So if you become a Winner Home Grand Prize winner this year, which would you choose as your home? So you'll tweet with us, hashtag Winner Home, and we could be reading them live on TV later on. Looking forward to seeing which homes they would choose. Mm -hmm. If you had a favorite, because I can't have a favorite, I'm yeah. on site all the time, they'll kill me. Yeah. Do you have a favorite yet? I'm sitting here and I'm watching on the screens and they're all giving me so much life. There is no favorite, uh -huh. it's tough. But you have to live in one of them. You have to live there. So you can't be that diplomatic. Yeah, but I'm not going to say now. Nah. Why? Tell you there. Tell you there. He's too diplomatic. I would choose... <laughs> Kidding, I wouldn't say that <laughs> live on television. What about you? Let us know on social media using the hashtag Winner Home. Mm. And we'd love to hear your thoughts. Which apartment would you like to win at the end of the day? Well, you won't get the opportunity to choose if you don't enter our grand prize True. competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. And to make things even better, you'll automatically also stand a chance to win three times in our weekly Capitec Open the Door giveaway. But first up, you get to choose one of these three doors behind me and you win whatever is behind. Behind it. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a Philips Avance Extra Large Digital Air Fryer from loot.co.za worth 3,300 Rand, a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher, or a medium Kamado Yan all in one grill from Cozy Home worth 14,900 Rand. 
feels like the prizes get better every single week. And then by answering a simple product related question, the winning doesn't stop. You stand a chance to win a Samsung top freezer combi refrigerator with digital inverter compressor, mm. twin cooling plus smart conversion worth 16 Thousand rand. Ah, oh, and thirdly, by being a capita client and answering your question correctly, you will win an additional five thousand rand cash, which will be instantly transferred into your bank account. I'm talking tonight, right now, in this moment when you do win it. If this sounds good to you, then go to privateproperty.co.za right now. You have until seven forty-five tonight to enter and be eligible for tonight's draw. Indeed. Let's go back to part of play now, where the magazine clients have decided to drop by and check in on their duos. Finally, it wasn't me. Mm. But first, let's quickly recap what happened last week. Last time on Winner Home, the design duos completed their third challenge in the competition, the master bedroom. Team r &K brought custom design into their space with a three-dimensional feature art wall and a bespoke bulkhead. This is everything. When you enter the room, it, it's overwhelmingly gorgeous, it's stunning. The Perma Peeps created a nature-inspired aesthetic with their stone-covered finishes and brought colour into the space in the form of muted pink velvet curtains. We decided to bring in some muted colour. It's nice and soft and not overstimulating as a, as a bedroom space. And Team Contrast Control pushed the boundaries of design with their collaborative art piece and hanging pendants, as well as their burnt wood ceiling. We just wanted to add a lot of detail in it, but still keeping it simple yeah. and very comfortable. In the end, it was the Perma Peeps who took home the victory, squaring up the competition. With two challenges left in the competition, it's anyone's game. It's been a pretty exciting design journey to date. Our design viewers have had to impress our judges and you at home, but there's also one other person they've had to consider, and that's their magazine clients, who've been keeping a keen eye on their design from a distance. Until now. Hi, hi, Sumin. Sumin is here from Vivi and we are excited to show her what we've done so far. We do hope that the VZ clients celebrate some of the choices we've made. You know, we've brought a lot of our own personalities into the space and of course collaborated that with some of their aesthetics. Lots of bold blacks and contemporary and edgy and modern. I love it. I absolutely adore it. We Thank you. Do. And looking from here, I love the way all this works with that very glamorous bathroom. Thank you. And the second bedroom, I love everything. I love the units. I love the hanging thing. But that roller blind, I think we have to look at again. And in your glam room, which I think is such a clever thing to do, I think the mannequin is not necessary. You can use that space much, much better. But now tell me about what you're going to do with the rest of it. Well, in our kitchen, we were thinking of going more contemporary. But also bringing out our styles, you know, some a bit of sophistication and also a bit of industrial. Mm -hmm. You know, just playing on that, but, you know, it should all translate into the lounge as well. Team r &K have done incredibly well. They've done a lot of work. Not everything is perfect. There are one or two small little things that I think they can tweak to get um, a more coherent style running through the different rooms. But I think you're on great tracks, girls. <laughs> Thank you. Debbie Lewitz from Real Life Magazine has come to visit us. Uh, we're very excited to showcase our space. Real Life Magazine is, of course, our client, so we're hoping that they'll enjoy what they'll see so far. Oh, wow. So this is the activities room. <laughs> yes. I love it. Oh, wow, this is cool. This is really great. We thoroughly enjoy getting everybody that comes into our space to hop in and experience our Caesar Stone sauna. So that was really cute, having Debbie Lurtz give it a try. So now having had a look around, um, I think maybe we should just talk about what you've done. I think our favorite space is our master bedroom. Well, I'm not surprised that you actually won that challenge. It's really gorgeous. Thank you. Say, you know, this is the place where everything has actually come together. Mm. So it'll be very nice to see how it actually flows out into the actual main space. We'll be using similar materials um, in the kitchen space to really tie the spaces together to make it one feel of a home. I have to be honest, I was a bit concerned at first because when we actually met, I told you that we would like you know, things to be really warm and very colourful and bold. But I think you've actually done something so beautiful and also very warming with colours that are very muted, which I didn't really expect. So I just want to say well done. 
there was a little bit of concern with our minimalist approach, but now that Debbie's seen our space, I think she's reassured and happier and is liking what we're up to so far. We just bumped into our magazine client, Lebo, from SA Home Owner. She popped in to come and have a look at our progress, so we're, we hope she likes what we've been doing. I've had a walk through the apartment and I'm going to start with the guest bedroom. I love what you've done with the ceiling, it's definitely thinking out the box. With the master bedroom, again, ceiling different from the usual white. Colors also working together beautifully. Bathrooms, guys. I was blown away. <laughs> the use of wallpaper. I mean, at first I had my doubts, but it is outstanding. I just want to find out from you guys what your plans are for the kitchen and then maybe the lounge as well. We plan to kind of incorporate the kind of textures that we had and colors in all the other rooms, mashing it into the kitchen and then flowing into the lounge. I don't know if you remember, but that was one of my, you know, focal point when I gave you guys the brief. So that for me is perfect. Just something to add, always be mindful of the natural light because that works wonders for you. For instance, I loved what you did with the scissor stone slab on the window. It opens up beautifully, so maybe introduce the same thought process again and then you're well on your way. So well done. I'm excited. I'm sure you can see it in my... I, I, just, I can't wait. I just want to go back. It's, it's, it's so inviting. I just want to stay there. We initially had thought that our designs were a bit too edgy for the SA home owner reader and yeah she just gave us that reassurance that we're on the right track and she's very excited about our designs. I thought it showed if the mentors and those magazine clients are more excited or if we are or if you guys at home are but it's clear that their magazine clients seem to be very very happy with the progress uh, they've made so far but what do you think you have until 7.45 to vote for your favorite design duo you do that on privateproperty.co.za to be eligible for this week's Cabbie Tech Open the Door giveaway so hurry 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 7.45 mm, I love it I absolutely adore it our duos are hungry to get back into the swing of things with their next challenge so stay right there. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Winner Home, hosted at Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties. I absolutely love the lifestyle on offer in Somerset West. You're so close to the Cape Winelands and the beautiful ocean. But if you've had a long day's work and like a cold beer, that's just around the corner too. Bro, this place is wild. And it's right near site. Like literally between the ocean and the site, it's like five minutes away. Okay guys, welcome to Triggerfish. Are awesome. you ready for beer? Definitely. <laughs> when I first started here in Port of Flay, there was nothing. And I think you guys have seen, it's changed quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we were literally the first brew pub in Cape Town. The second brewery that's still going. This place is the bomb, like a legit a bomb. It used to be a dynamite factory. Yeah. And Triggerfish has grown from being just a brewery with a small tap room where we did taste things to where we see 200 people, we have a whole restaurant, we have music events here. So rad for us to grab a chance to just chill out together and relax a bit. Yeah, between challenges and that, it's been insane. But now I think our creative juices are about to get refueled, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that moto tricycle thing hanging there like what is that how did it get up there that particular trike goes back to 2000 or something they made a movie called doomsday <laughs> they made two trikes the one was crashed in the movie this particular one has a history because it was the first mutant vehicle at africa burn wow no. that's crazy how did how did you guys even get it up there it's one of those where it was me and my two sons <laughs> and two block and tackles and a a lot of effort and grit and sweat. That method of how you hung that actually is sparking some things in our ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are into interiors. Yeah. 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 You know what? Enough fun and games. I think it's time that... Get back to side. We need to get back to side. Get briefed. 
We have all the creative juices we need right now. We're about to kill it right now. It's a new week and time for a new challenge. Our design duos will have to dig deep for this one. Design duos, one thing is for sure, this competition has been tough. You can all pat yourselves on the back for the work you've managed to complete, and we're officially past the halfway mark. Congrats. That doesn't mean, however, that you can slack off, because this next challenge is going to be one of the toughest. We are both feeling really awesome after our win last week and super proud. And yeah, we are crazy excited to actually hear what is in store for us this round. I think it should be the kitchen or the lounge. Moving into the big space either way. Either way. We just want to rip it off now. You know, we haven't won, I mean, since the first challenge, you know, but so this time we really, really have to bring it. For the next two weeks, you'll be designing and decorating the kitchen. Food, glorious food. <laughs> Ooh, Yo. kitchens are scary. I mean, kitchens are what you see when you step into someone's house. It's the first thing. It's like the face of the house. To get cooking, let's take a look at private property. The kitchen needs to be warm and inviting, but also clean and hygienic. It's considered the heart of the home and needs to be functional with enough storage space. And remember, beautiful services are key and quality finishes must be carefully selected. And now for your mentor. For this challenge, you'll be working alongside one of South Africa's most prolific architects. He has designed from Cape Town to London, Moscow to Paris. He is none other than the director of Arc Interior Design Studios. It's Mark Riley. Mark Riley. He's, He's legit. legit. He's legit. A whole Mark Riley as our mentor. Can you imagine? I'm Mark Riley. I'm a director at Arc, which is an interior design and architectural studio based in Cape Town. We design high-end residential projects all over the world, um, including luxurious locations like Miami, Los Angeles, New York, Dubai. So I originally studied architecture about 25 years ago, but through the years I found that my passion was more related to interior design and interior architecture. We're all familiar with the analogy that the kitchen is the heart of the home, and I think that is still very applicable today, where it's a much more open kind of environment. So kitchens have become much more exposed um, into interiors of rooms. Um, so the design of a kitchen is very important. How do you integrate it into the look and feel with the rest of the house, because it's not just a separate room. Mark Riley is our mentor. I think we're going to be able to pick his brain on a couple of things for our kitchen space. Let's see what we got. Here we have our kitchen. We've actually gone with an L-shaped kitchen. Yeah. Um, everything obviously full height. We've recently just experienced in our master bedroom the new Nova Lamb range, uh, which is a natural concrete finish and an oxidized finish on our cupboards. Yeah, and we feel great. that it's actually important to bring that finish through from there. So right, right now we're busy actually we're chatting actually about doing little sample checks. So the context of the finishes you're looking at, I think that, that looks really fantastic. What kind of features are you going to look at introducing? Oh, features. Yeah. We are bringing in our permaculture promise in a section of our Caesar stone backsplash. We're going to be building in built-in plants, herb wall. Okay. And looking at the finishes you're using, they're quite cool colours. The idea also should be that the kitchen should still feel quite warm. And I think maybe that's just something you need to look at in terms of how you mm. dress and accessorise it. So think about that and add some pops of colour or warmth. Our meeting with Mark went very well. I'm very excited to actually be working with him and to showcase our ideas. Hi guys. Hi Mark. Mark Riley. I'm very stoked about that. I followed his Pinterest for a long time. He's got an unbelievable amount of pins and just the quality of the work that they do as a company, it's very impressive. What we were thinking for the kitchen design is um, kind of creating that connection between the kitchen and the lounge area. Okay. So from the kitchen corner, yeah. the joinery item that we're having will wrap like an L shape into the lounge just to create a free way of walking and working. What you're gonna have is 
a high kind of cupboard shelving and then just coupling it up with greenery we will be suspending from the ceiling. So there ah. you can you can kind of see how we want that to be able to lower so you can kind of trim your herbs and, and water them and that sort of thing and then also that joinery unit that that's kind of continuous into into the lounge space as well. Our kitchen is so exciting we're gonna have like three amounts of stone we're gonna have a whole steel structure hanging with plants, you can cut it up and take it up and down. Yo. I really like the concept that you haven't really created the kitchen as one element. You're kind of tying it through and you're considering it to be part of the whole room. Lots of fantastic ideas, good color choices, exciting materials. A lot to do, so good luck. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Great Cheers. to meet you. Okay. He was very complimentary. He was very complimentary. That's a bit worrying. Hi girls. Hello. I'm Mark. Mark Riley. I mean, he's quite big in the design industry, you yeah. know. I'm a little nervous. I really love what you've got down on the floor here. Is this part of your whole concept that you're going to be using in the kitchen? Yes. From our Cozy Home colour collection, we've chosen to use something similar to this. It's similar to this stone right here, a raven. So that's our cabinet colour. Cool. And then we wanted to just top it off with coastal grey Caesar stone. Okay. So that's the stone cool. we're going to use. And then... Fine. So those will work quite nice on the floor. Yeah, so we're going to have an island okay. right here. Right. And then so our towels will kind of float okay. out. And then cool. we're also thinking of incorporating some wood. So yeah. We'll have a little cut out, you know, a little something special that's going to happen on okay. top of that. So I'm quite intrigued about this mystery element that we're going to have on the island. Yes, surprise. it is. Okay. Love surprise. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of pick up on the wood on the floor that's sure. leading into our lounge area. It goes into one, so right. we like to right. bring some of that into our kitchen. So here we'll have down lights, and okay. then here we'll have little pendants coming down from the sling. So I like the idea of bringing in the wood and then kind of having these sort of light elements. It will work quite well. The fact that he actually likes our ideas, it gives us a bit of more confidence, you know? It means we're on the right track. Right, so after that exciting news, some uh, not so exciting news for you at home. Your chance to be eligible for tonight's Capitech Open the Door giveaway is officially over. But that's not the end, obviously. If you vote for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za now or beyond, you'll be entered into next week's draw. So if you did enter, make sure you keep your phones close to you because we could be calling you live on TV. Speaking of uh, your phones that are out at the moment, thanks for all the tweets that have been coming through. We asked you if you won one of the three apartments, uh, which one would you choose of our three design duos? Mojo says, Team Contrast Control, because they've been consistent for me. Their master bedroom design uh, brought Oasis of Calm with the dark, breathtaking colors. Their style definitely spoke to me. The bathroom was breathtaking with a contemporary wallpaper. My dream. You should be a designer. Uh, Luzuko says, um, I love and would really like to own the Perma Peeps house. It's amazing. It would be a dream come true. Such beautiful design. A place I would call a home. Shayma Naidu also agrees. Once the Perma Peeps home says, hashtag win a home. Awesome show. I would love to win the home designed by the Perma Peeps. And then Mongi says, I would definitely choose Team RK design department if I were to win. Share your thoughts. Hashtag win a home. Which of the three apartments would you like to call home? Which one do you invite me to? One of my favorite elements of this season of Winner Home is seeing the unique collaborations our design duos put together for each challenge and for their kitchens. They've produced some of the most ambitious and creative yet. All of that is coming up. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. Till now, we've seen some amazing design from our design duos. But as part of their challenges, they must collaborate with some up-and-coming designers as well. And how cool that we get to showcase their work. We are at Homage, meeting our collaborator for the kitchen space, which is... Dino's back. Dr. Dean Sosset. And he's back to kill the steel structure that we're making. 
Dean's really got his hands full this time, but glad we could actually partner with him as a main collaborator um, because he's going to be helping us out on a few of the different spaces. For the kitchen, you know, we're thinking of doing something quite dramatic. We'd like to, if possible, like hang like a bulkhead with plants on, but also have the ability to move that up and down so that people can, can trim their herbs and water their plants and that sort of thing. The whole perforated sheet that we're thinking of using is obviously going to be positioned above the little island in our kitchen. So the whole pulley system that we might be using to bring it up and down kind of needs to be very efficient. Yeah, it's very cool. I mean, look, just even just looking at that now, I can already kind of work out exactly how we can do it. Initially, we were thinking of using like a mesh, um, but now we're also kind of thinking of using like a perforated sheet for this, but it's quite a big piece. It's like one five by one five. Wow, that's a lot of steel. Eh? I have a good friend that deals in scrap and hopefully he can source us big sheets of, of laser cut off cuts. So maybe we could check that out. Unit 43, they work a lot with steel. They build those motorcycles themselves. Yeah, they recycle metals and Your now they've just got it into distilling in general. They've yeah, got a general. few different drinks they're making up. What do you have here? So this is um, a skeleton sheet. It's off cut from us building our bar over here. Oh, wow. And um, yeah, this is what we got left. So you guys can grab it if you want. That's a lot of metal. I know Dean and he's looking worried. He is looking worried. I hope we can put his mind at ease now. And also we could even add the, the steel tubing edge on that. Yeah, Maybe straight up that. top or around. And we'll just have to obviously work the three edges that are around it. We'll have to cut those out, get those lasered. Mm. One of the really interesting uh, things about being in the interior design industry is being involved with the makers and the shakers and all the guys. I'm Ashley Lloyd, I'm an industrial designer. I create lighting installations using um, traditional techniques such as crochet. We are at Ashley Lloyd Design Studio here to check up on our collaboration for our kitchen. She is doing such a wonderful piece for us. She is actually crocheting a beautiful large custom chandelier for us. It's going to be quite something hanging over our feature dining table in our kitchen space. Okay, so this is what I've got for you guys um, on a 650 millimeter ring. And I've started to crochet this olive polypropylene rope on top as a foundation. Mm. Yeah, so I thought the good combination together for this project would be the olive rope and then the hemp kind of sisal that you've provided. Melissa and Sinead are going for like a simplistic, minimal, clean looking kitchen. And with this light fixture, I am wanting to bring in a little bit of warmth a little bit of more texture and something that'll kind of bring all the elements together and it's going to be hanging above the dining room table. Oh, this is going to look lovely. We've okay, used this in of. one of our other spaces for a woven headboard. So bringing this woven texture in again in a different weave is going to look so nice. We've definitely got macrame weaving down to a T. But <laughs> I think it's time for us to learn a new skill. So one-handed crocheting, here we come. <laughs> Oh my gosh, please don't fall off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Go. Twist it towards yourself. Oh, there we there go. go. There we go. Oh, oh my cool. gosh. <laughs> you must definitely like check our work so we don't have like funky <laughs> stitches in between your lovely stitches here. Ashley sure has her work cut out for her. Possibly one or two sleepless nights. <laughs> For our kitchen collaboration, we are working with Nikki from Gold Bottom Pots. Hello. <laughs> we make hand cast fiberglass reinforced planters. Um, they're made locally from start to finish. You mix your fiberglass and concrete together and it gets laid in by hand, layer by layer, to the desired thickness. And then only does the hand painting start. What she does is usually create these beautiful, stunning, bold um, printed pots for plants but we have a twist. Where are you thinking of putting them in your kitchen? <laughs> Interesting you ask. <laughs> so what we were thinking is to turn it upside down, put a light bulb okay. and create a whole pendant. Have you lifted one of these before? Well, we're all about pushing boundaries, honey. So <laughs> that's what we want to do. We're going to flip it. It is quite heavy and, you know, do the most with it. We didn't realize how heavy these parts are, but I mean, we always figure things out. We'll make it work. 
Team RNK's idea is quite bold, but that's what we're all about. I just hope they've got insurance because these pots need to be hung up really safely with a chain and all of that. If they sort that out, I think it's gonna look amazing. I have one more idea and I hope you like it. Is that paint? Let's paint the inside gold. Oh, oh no, that's gonna, oh my goodness, it's gonna make it pop. So light gets um, absorbed by the concrete, but the gold will reflect. Oh my goodness, oh yes. That sounds oh, stunning. See you. See you, girl. Girl power. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We're gonna need um, a drill, you know? Grrr. Put some holes in there. <laughs> <laughs> there I am with this drill in my hand. I mean, a weapon, really. And I'm about to do the most to make his go bottom. And I'm just like, you know what? Step away, because I still like my body fully intact when I leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As you know, this season takes place at the beautiful Potterfly Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, uh, developed by Baldwin Properties. But what you might not know is that you can get a closer look at the various types of units on offer seven days a week from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 p.m. with an agent on site on Wednesdays, Saturdays and Sundays between 2 and 6 p.m. The agents are some of the funniest people as well. So if you meet them, please ask them to crack a joke for you because they are hilarious. Uh, is that what, what they do? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they are some of my favorite people on site. For more information about the development and the show days, you go to Baldwin, B-A-L-W-I-N dot C-O dot Z-A. And if you attend the show day this coming Saturday, you'll receive a 100 Rand voucher from Amici restaurant located in the estate. It's literally right next to the Dior's apartment, so you can snack on some pizza. Mm. Are you checking out the apartments? How cool ah, is that? Well, coming up, our design duos, they go shopping. <laughs> With the Top Mount Fridge adapting to you, turn your freezer into a fridge to accommodate big celebrations while controlling your fridge's temperature from your phone. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app. So good to have you back with us on Winner Home, hosted at Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. Now, with two shopping malls conveniently located right across the road, our design duos literally have everything they may need right on their doorstep. Why did the Primo Peeps cross the road? Go to Somerset Mall to the Samsung store. <laughs> We are popping across the road to go and have a look at our fridge option and see what's happening there. Yeah, it is super convenient having them all right across the way with pretty much anything you could need. So this is the new range of Samsung fridges that I was telling you ladies about. So if you have a look, your fridge section is actually very spacious. So you have more than enough space to stock all your goods. Then you actually have two freezer sections here at the bottom. You have the flex zone and then you have your standard freezer. What's nice about the flex zone, you can actually adjust your temperature. So you can put freezer or fridge goods in here without actually having it spoilt. And what phones do you have, if you ask? Samsung. <laughs> okay, because the nice thing about this is you can connect this to the Wi-Fi with your SmartThings application pre-installed on your Samsung device. The fridge has an app. The future is now. <laughs> <laughs> you are able to connect this fridge and your phone to the same Wi-Fi network. You'll notice when I go into it, it picks up the fridge which we showcase in. And over here, you can actually see you can adjust your temperature. If you press it twice, you're now currently sitting on three degrees on the fridge. So if you bought new groceries for the day before you on your way home, you can put the fridge into what they call a power cool or power freeze mode, where your fridge works at its hardest to get all the goods cold as fast as possible. Well, the kitchen is the heart of the home, and in turn, the fridge is essentially the heart of the heart of the home. So it is a very important appliance within a kitchen space. So this is one of our entry levels in the new range. However, we do have some more premium fridges with more upgradable features, which can exactly use this application as I demo to you right now. Advanced features. Sounds Ooh. good to me. <laughs> that is so next level. Now, a kitchen might not be complete without a fridge, but neither would it be the heart of the home without beautiful cupboards. For this season of Winter Home, all the cabin uh, cabinetry was supplied by the talented team at Cozy Home, located in the picturesque beach of uh, Port Alfred in the Eastern Cape. 
Picasi Home that specializes in the high-end kitchen fabrication. Our strategy is, is exclusive product and service for the kitchens itself, as well as uh, stone fabrication that includes Caesar stone and the delivery of it. We started with customers as they come to us, first understand what kind of style they want and the space uh, that we've got to work with, and then we conceptualize the kind of design where we're going to. We try and bring in the European trends of spaces getting smaller, how can we use that space dynamically, positioning the right stuff at the right place in the kitchen, getting more space and utilization out of the kitchen by more drawers and the mechanisms that we use. We manufacture all our products in-house here in Port Alfred, from cutting to high-end edging, computerized CNCing, and we do specialize in the spray painting. We've developed a spray paint that we adapted for wood, and we bake into a harden, and that's what we use on some of our kitchens and our bedrooms. It has already been used in some of the dues' first challenge with their first bedrooms. We can install locally, but we also install nationwide. We're very proud to be associated with Baldwin Properties, and we do all their development kitchens and bedrooms in Cuisine and Hotel, as well as this lovely development of Part of Flay. I myself do the renders. I put the information into the software, all the different items, and do photorealistic renders, send them to the customer, and once we've got agreement and sign off, then we can move on to the manufacturing process. From there, we make sure that we deliver what the customers want. We can install everything, including the stone, on top of the cabinetry. We also do fireplaces, decking, pergolas, and staircases, offering our customers a full turnkey solution. I work for a company called Sonai Raka. We manufacture particle board and medium density fiber board, which we upgrade with a melamine face board. The Novaland collection is a collection of the melamine face boards and the new decors, the eight new ones, are in addition to the range. We now have 33 decors within the range and these follow on from the latest trends in Europe. So we're very, very excited to work with, with Cozy Homes. They're a customer's customer, if you like, uh, and they buy from, from Wood City, which is uh, one of our merchants based locally. They're getting involved with a, a whole lot of developments and then using our product, and uh, it's a really fantastic relationship uh, and looking forward to the future as well. We are Eclipse South Africa. We've been in business now for 35 years, and we have been the proud agent of Bloom in South Africa for the last 30 years. Bloom is a manufacturer of uh, quality fittings that we use in our kitchens. It is far superior to anything on the market currently, and have been used throughout the Winner Home competition by Cozy Homes. You know, we have been proudly supplying Cozy throughout the last five years, and we look forward to seeing the end product in the Winner Home competition. Wow, the finishes on those cabinets are truly spectacular. And what better way to fill them than with some Valance products? We are off to Valence to shop for our kitchen accessories. It's actually quite interesting because we're doing it alongside Mark Riley. So we would like to see what his aesthetic is like because, I mean, if he celebrates our choices. Valence, here we come. Kitchen design isn't just about big appliances and big ideas. Mm. We've also got to think about all the small elements, the finer details of what we need to bring into the space to try and make it a lot more homely and a lot more cosier. And you also need to think about who you're designing for. Well, we have a client, uh, Mark. It's a lady, it's a young lady who's very well-traveled, very affluent, okay. business-minded person. Yeah. She is very... She's just, she's just a woman with her own, you know, beat. She's got her own mind. She is well-read um, and very exotic. Interesting is the word also. Definitely, I mean, the idea of playing with these sort of more organic shapes and organic yeah. textures yeah. do bring in some warmth yeah. into the space. I yeah. think that's yeah. very rich in terms of layering it, so I like that idea. It's earthy. Yeah. And also, I think, bringing in the, the nature element. I mean, you've got that beautiful hexagonal floor. Yes. So tying all of that together works very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Um, in our pen we're gonna have an inner layer of gold. So sure. we're thinking also to play around with the you know the pops of colour, you know. Okay. And we love just how Valence also has similar 
sort of um, you know components like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, look at that's that. Nice. That's a nice yeah, detail. Yeah, very subtle. Yeah. And yeah. in our bathrooms, okay. we also have this oh. kind of theme running sure. through. So okay. it's exciting. She's very sophisticated. Yeah. Very Definitely. subtle, though. Okay. I'm really liking the idea of these gold elements. I think they're really fantastic. Yeah. Especially if you're going to do the lampshades above it, the fact yeah. that they reflect. Mm -hmm. So the metallics are fantastic. Yeah. So I think you're definitely on trend, and we're going forward quite beautifully. Okay. Thanks, yes, Mark. Cool. I can't wait to so, see when it all comes out. Like. Excellent. We found some really cute things here at Valence, and we just can't wait to see how we're gonna sort of like put them in the space and place them. Some great design inspiration on Winner Home this evening. Coming up, it's Capitec Open the Door time, and we're about to call one lucky viewer live to win big. It could be you. Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3. Now it is time for us to get into the Capitec Open the Door giveaway where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries and that lucky contestant will get to choose one of these three doors behind me and win whatever is behind it. Now here's what's hidden behind the doors tonight. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a Philips Avance Extra Large Digital Air Fryer from loot.co.za worth 3,300 Rand, a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher, or a medium Kamado Yan all in one grill from Cozy Home worth 14,900 Rand. And here to open the door for us tonight, we have Rebecca Jafta, learning designer at Capitec. Rebecca, it's so good to have you here. Thank you. So, Glad to be here. Oh, what exactly do you do as a learning designer? I, as the name implies, I'm a learning designer. So I design all the learning for Capitec Bank. Mm. And what do you love most about it? I think the fact that I can impact uh, the workers at Capitec Bank. So yeah. that's what keeps me going. Ah, that is so awesome. Well, impacting all the workers at Capitec Bank every single day. And tonight, impacting our lucky caller who's on the line, Audrey Dunn from Cape Town. Welcome, Audrey. Hello, welcome. Uh, are you ready to win some amazing prizes tonight? Yes, I am. Fabulous, let's get into it. For the first round, all you have to do is pick a door. Which door would you like us to open? Red, white or blue? I'd like the blue. Ah, the blue door. Ribs, what's behind the blue door? <laughs> Oh, congratulations, Audrey. You have won yourself a Philips Advanced Extra Large Digital Air Fryer from loot.co.za worth 3,000 oh, Rand. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I always wanted. Oh, my God. That is fabulous. We're going to be doing lots and lots of frying at your house, Audrey. Well, mm -hmm. Rebecca, thank you so much for being here and helping Audrey win that amazing prize. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Can I have some of those chips that you're going to make in that air fryer, Audrey? Yes, I'm going to make a lot of chips. Lovely. Is it with? Is it going to be with tomato sauce or with mayonnaise? We'll have to find out. Listen, I'm Audrey. Tomato sauce. Good, good. My favourite. Listen, in round two, Samsung is giving you the chance to win again. It's uh, the tonight's prize is the Samsung Top Freezer Combi Refrigerator. It's worth sixteen thousand rand. But before I get to ask you a question, let me tell you a little bit about this fridge itself. So listen very carefully. All right. Okay. Cool. Connecting your Samsung phone to the fridge via the SmartThings app has great benefits, like being able to change the temperature when you're not home, like you saw earlier on in the show. And even if it, it even allows you to send a reminder if you leave the fridge door open, so you'll get that notification on your device. Digital invert the technology allows, to, allows it to use less energy and minimize noise. And twin cooling plus prevents unpleasant smells as well. And we hate unpleasant smells, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So now to win this awesome prize, answer this very easy question. 
Will you get a reminder via Samsung SmartThings app if you leave your Samsung Top Freezer combi refrigerator door open? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure, sure, sure? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm going to give you the prize. Congratulations. <laughs> Audrey, you are on a roll and out of control, and yet another chance for you to win. And in round three today, because the cash prize was won last week, you stand a chance to win 5,000 Rand cash. The question, okay. though, is, Audrey, are you a capita client? Yes, I am. Oh, I love it! <laughs> okay, here's the question. Which of these is a good credit choice? A, using credit to renovate your home, adding to its value, or B, using credit for eating out? Correct, correct, Audrey, <laughs> it is that simple. Congratulations, 5,000 bucks coming your way. It's going to be deposited Thank into your account immediately. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you, Audrey. Thank you so much for entering. Well, it's that simple to win. Enter thank now. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much, Audrey. <laughs> Enjoy your prize. Well, enter now and be like her on privateproperty.co.za and you could be the lucky caller on Capitec Open the Door next week. And remember, there's also the possibility of winning the grand prize. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with a Samsung 12 kilogram front loader washing machine with Wi-Fi, ad wash, eco bubble technology and smart control. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Win a home every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Welcome back to Winner Home. We're being hosted at the Part of Play Lifestyle Estate developed by Baldwin Properties in the beautiful Somerset West. Now, although this competition is about the end result, one of the things that I love the most is the design process. We're halfway through the kitchen challenge, and what we have really right now is a, a skeleton. Honey, I'm home! Hi! Oh, hi. hi, Danilo. <laughs> You've clearly gone for an open plan kitchen. Yes. Uh, yes very definitely. open plan. No, it has to be. <laughs> so paint us the, the beautiful Picasso picture of what this will look like at the deadline day. Well, the client that we're designing for is someone who I really see as a well-traveled person. She loves cuisine, she loves gourmet. She would definitely enjoy entertaining her guests here. So being around this aisle which we're creating here is one of her favorite spots. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted to create a sense of mobility. She must be able to move around and host and have a guest. And we're creating these lovely stools out of Caesar stone. I mean, there's detailing that we're going to have. Come on over here for a second. You guys haven't won a challenge since the first challenge, so I see a wine rack here. Is this uh, about trying to bribe the judges a little bit of wine, make them yeah, like the kitchen? Honey. Is that what this is for? Not yeah. quite. Mm. It's just because we think she likes wine, our client. Is the progress happening like you want to? Is your budget doing okay? Is everything going to be fine until that deadline day? Yeah, yeah. Everything seems to be working according to plan. Cool. Okay. Then fist bumps. Good yeah, luck. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing the final product. We still have quite a lot to get done within our kitchen space, but we have a lot of faith that it'll get done. Now that is pretty cool. Hi, Perma peeps. Hey, how are you doing, Good, Dan? Thanks. I get to do the fun thing and just drop in at the halfway mark <laughs> and see how it's going. So I would have expected a lot more action at this point in the halfway mark, yet you're sitting doing what? We're just, yeah, becoming acquainted with our Bokashi bin. Well, I, I kind of know what they do, but for our viewers at home who don't... A Bokashi bin is essentially a composting container where you're able to throw out all your food scraps from all your leftover meals, and then you have special fibre products and compost activators and things that you throw in the mix, and it actually creates a beautiful organic fertiliser liquid that you sort of, like, box wine style <laughs> drain out the bottom. So, yeah... Which is not box wine. Do not drink 
drink this at home. <laughs> Don't drink it, no. What is the vision for your kitchen? Well, as you can see, our slate tiles are on, on our roof. Those tiles are the same tiles from our bathroom. We've just cut them thinner. Also, our finishes on our actual kitchen are coming. It's going to be the same finishes that were in our master bedroom. So just creating yeah, that's, just that's that uniformity form and, yeah. and bringing in the materials in a bit of a different way. So it's like same, same, but different. different. When you look at the trends of kitchens, islands are always one of the things that's the focal point of that kitchen. Have you guys decided to go with one? We, we don't have a kitchen no. island, no. <gasps> <laughs> Shock. We personally like to keep spaces more open. open and minimal. So I'm gonna let you guys get your hands dirty, but before you do that, let's fist pump me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck to both of you. Let's make it two for two, all right? Thanks, Amina. No, we're, we're doing our best. <laughs> See you at deadline. Bye. Oh, hey. guys, this looks really so heavy. Can Please I... help. Oh, okay. Some free hands. Am I being paid for this? No. Uh, Why? Sorry. <laughs> you guys have budget. Come on. You can't spend it on you, Daddy Low. Dan pops in in our half mark, and we don't actually have a lot to show him. It's looking like a very pretty bear. <laughs> this is looking interesting. Hey? It is, it is, it is. In the last few challenges, you guys were praised for bringing the same elements through to your different rooms that you've been designing. Is the same thing going to happen here in the kitchen? Will we see a thread? Definitely. We do have our Afrolicious theme going on, so we do like try to tie everything in through materials. And you're definitely going to see what you saw before, just elevated. I see. So, can you talk me through them? Because I see there's a whole bunch of stuff on this side. I see all these little moving parts and little tables everywhere. What are these going to turn into? What are we going to see at the end? This, for now, it's going to just be the kitchen and then going down into a bench. But later on, it'll continue right into the lounge. And then there's going to be no island, or? There's definitely going to be an island. We're going to have a timber island floating over here with our little uh, bespoke <laughs> storage piece at the end for stability, and then we're gonna have our hanging structure with plants inside. Well, you seem very chilled and happy with the results. I like some of the ideas that are going on here. Let's just hope the judges see them and that it comes out brilliantly at the end of the day, all right? Awesome. Get back to work, good luck. Excited to show you. Show I'm fist pumping everyone. You should get back to work. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> My work is easy, your work is hard. Mm. Fist pumps all round, they look very mm. chilled at this point. Always makes me worried for deadline day. Mm. With not much more than a shell to show at the halfway mark, our design duos have their work cut out for them, leading up to that deadline for the kitchen challenge. And let's just hope they dish up something special for the judges. Get it? Ah, uh, yeah, no, dish I up. got it. <laughs> dish up, kitchen. Oh, well, yeah, you know. Congratulations once again to Audrey Dunn from Cape Town, who mm. won herself the Philips Avance Extra Large Digital Air Fryer from loot.co.za. It's worth 3,300 Rand, as well as the the Samsung Top Freezer Combi Refrigerator with 16,000 Rand and the 5,000 Rand Instant Cash from Capitec bringing the total prize value to a whopping 24,300 Rand. Make sure you vote for your favorite on privateproperty.co.za and you could be next week's live caller. Indeed, plus you'll be entered into the grand prize giveaway where you could win your choice of one of three amazing apartments at the Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West developed by Bowen Properties. From us, good night and have a good rest of your week. Mwah. Next week on Winner Home, the pressure is on with only one week left to completely design and decorate their kitchen spaces. Follow the design duos as they transform their plans into reality. Will their ideas be a recipe for success or will it all come crashing down? We would love to know ourselves. <laughs> we always start with a mess and end up with wowza. Catch the design drama on Winner Home. Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3 with a repeat on Saturday at 3 p.m. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.